paradigm shift is not just, you can't just say that paradigm doesn't work. You actually have to have something to put it in place. Right. <laughs> and that's actually, you know, part of the focus of my next book is, is to really concisely say, here's the replacement. And, and it's something that, that John Dewey predicted in 1938 in his mm -hmm. book, Experience in Education. He said, he, he, so he's speaking to a convention of progressive educators, his people, yes. you know, like the movement yes. he started. And he says, you don't know what you're doing. And I know you don't know what you're doing because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, in order for me to know what I'm doing, I have to be able to reliably distinguish an educative experience from a non-educative experience. And I can't mm -hmm. do that yet. The only way you can, the, the way he will know that's true is when you have a proper theory of experience. And in, he, he died in 1952, so 24 years at the end of his life. The last book of original work that he published on education was the one in 1938. He spent mm -hmm. the next 24 years, the rest of his life, trying to figure out a theory of experience. And he didn't succeed because mainly he didn't have cognitive psychology. Mm -hmm. And so that's the thing that has changed now that he couldn't, you know, he couldn't resolve that issue. And then I think that most people have forgotten that he said that, <laughs> uh, especially in education is like, you know, I've been for many years trying to figure this stuff out. And then when I read that, I was like, oh my God, <laughs> he nailed it. You know, <laughs> there it is. and, and self-determination theory to me, I'm, what I'm proposing in my new books is just to say, look, self-determination theory is the theory of experience that John Dewey said we needed because it can for. positively distinguish an educative experience from a non-educative one. And it's very relatively simple. It says, well, when you're fully engaged, it's educative. And you're it doesn't learning. matter what it was. Yeah. It doesn't matter what the content was. Yeah. And he said that himself in that book. He said, it is not, there's no such thing as an educative, like there's no such thing as an e education in the, in the abstract. It has to be specific. It's that learner being engaged with that, whatever it is, it can be any activity can be mm -hmm. educative if they're fully engaged with it. And you have to now, part of the, the challenge is also that you have to have some technical understanding of what engagement means. Because we're not talking about they just look interested. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not just they do the, go through the motions. That is not what we're talking about. They, they filled <laughs> out the worksheet. Yeah. This is the Agentic Schools Podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.